right, YouTube, I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to crop out items on a picture that you already have. Now, I have a lovely picture of a shark here, and I don't want all this water. I actually want to put him in a fishbowl. And so what do I do with all this background? Well, there's a quick and easy step on how to do this. I'm going to go right over here to our um, quick tool selection. And we're going to choose quick selection tool right here. Not magic wand, but quick selection tool. And um, what we're going to do is simply just click on the areas that we want to add. And you can see I'm pulling it down. It's As I'm adding it, uh, pulling down, it's adding it to the image here. So we're going to just do like that all the way around the image. And we'll come back and fix that in just a minute. We got it pretty good. Now, you can see over here in this area, it's pretty blatant that I was a little sloppy. You can come right up here to the top. You've got, the, we're on the plus, you can go on the negative, and then you can, you can adjust it here. So here I am adjusting it. You want to get it as close as possible. We don't want to include that little shark over there. So we're going to do that right there and try to get it as good as possible. I'm going to go back to the plus and we'll add a little more up here. And we think it's pretty decent. So we're going to come right over here to this area. This uh, square down here is a mask and you can see there it masks. But I'm not sure how that's going to look on another background. So I'm going to go right over here to the layer and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to refine mask. That's going to bring up several different options. One of them, right here in the view, we're going to choose, to. you can choose black, pink, you know, whatever you like to choose. I'm going to choose black. Um, now let's choose white. We'll go ahead and choose white. It looks a little better. And we're going to click on this right here, smart radius, and bring that up to about 0.5. And you can play with this for what you think is the best for you. And adjust edge, we can go up just a little bit and feather just a little bit not too much we're going to click right here on this tool if you right click on it you'll see that we have refine radius tool and erase a refinement we're going to click on here refine radius tool we're going to go right over to our shark to our edges let's say right around his nose and we're going to just click on here around the edges just kind of color it in and let the tool do its trick here so we're going to go around here around the edges And usually like down here on the on the fin, you know, or the hands, if you were doing a person, is where you're gonna have the most trouble. And click down here on some fins. And let's see what we could do to refine this a little bit. And you might have done a good job whenever you were doing it the first time. It doesn't need a whole lot of fixing. I know that I always need a little bit. So there we are, and we can do a little bit more up here, just to see. And what's nice, so you've got a nice cropped out shark, you can go here and look at see what it's going to look like on black. Um, some of the nice tools you can use uh, down here at the bottom, you can look at the contrast, you can see how crisp that gets, or you can see how fuzzy it is on the edges, I'll do that again. You can see it, it really crisps it up and then smooth edging go down there you can see that's no good and that's really 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 awful so you get somewhere in the middle there but you can play with it so once you're done you press ok and then we have a cutout shark with a pdf background or png i'm sorry not a pdf we have a background with uh, that's png so that your shark can be placed in another photo or a document and you won't see any of the background just the shark I hope this was a, a good tool for you to use check back with us for some more uh, hints and tips on how to use Photoshop and um, leave a comment below and a like thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like to get some more videos good night YouTube